Hello and welcome to the Tech Fix Show. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock and install a custom ROM on your Xiaomi Mi 8. I'm going to be taking you step by step, every step of the way, from unlocking your bootloader to installing TWRP and installing the custom ROM itself. Now these steps will work on basically any other Xiaomi phone, although these are specifically the download links and everything for the stuff you need for the Mi 8. A quick word of warning, I can't predict that nothing bad will happen when you do this. It went fine for me, but something might be slightly different and it won't work for you. So if you have any issues, please let me know in the comments below and I will try my absolute best to help you solve the problem. So, let's begin. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna back up all your data. Do this by going down to additional settings, backup and restore, and first let's make a physical backup that's gonna be saved in this location. Next, we're gonna wanna back up to the Mi Cloud, just so it's gonna be super easy to restore your device after you've installed the custom ROM. Next, we're going to want to enable developer options by going to all specs and tapping the MIUI version five times until it's enabled. Now let's go back down to additional options where developer options will now be clearly seen. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is enable USB debugging. We're going to want to link your account, your MIUI account to your device, and you're going to want to enable OEM unlocking. Now let's turn off the device. Now all you need to do is put the phone into recovery mode. You do this by holding the power button and the volume down button. Now hold these two together until the little MIUI mascot pops up on screen. And that's it, you're basically done. You want to put your phone down and plug it into the computer. So now that's done, let's head over to the MIUI and let's download the MIUI unlock tool. Now you are going to have to apply for the right to unlock your account by going to the website. This normally takes a couple of days from like one to a week to actually get approved. But once you are allowed to do it, you'll be allowed to do it forever. So let's open up the MIUI unlock tool. It's agree, you log in, then with the same account that you linked previously with your device. If you don't, then this is just going to cause some authenticity problems. So again, it's checking that your account has permissions, which hopefully if you've applied for, you've received. Nice and easy. Now let's plug in your device and just basically let's click through. Let's ignore all these stupid little warning signs because we're, we know what we're doing. So basically, that's about it. It should run quickly and easily through to 100% and now your device will be unlocked. It will, of course, unfortunately erase all your data, but because we backed it up, it should all be safe and secure. Now, next thing you want to do is keep your device turned off and keep it preferably in fast boot mode. So now we need to set up a couple of things ready for us to get going. First, we need to set up and install the Android Debug Bridge, which allows us a bit more control over our phone when it's in that fast boot mode. So go to this website, download the link, and then you're going to want to unzip the link and put it in the root of your drive. Basically name it ADB. Now that's done, let's go over to this website and download the relevant TWRP. For us, it's the dipper file, but find the correct one for your phone. Now that's done, save it in the folder for the ADB. And what I like to do is just to rename it TWRP just to make things a bit easier later on. Cool, so now that's done, we wanna shift and right click and open up PowerShell. Now, once this is done, you're just going to want to type in dot forward slash fastboot dot exe flash recovery twrp dot img. This is basically telling the program to flash that image onto the recovery partition of your phone. 
Next, all we need to do is tell the phone to boot up that recovery image by typing fastboot.exe boot twr image. Nice and easy. So now that's done, your phone now should be waking up, but unfortunately it might be in Chinese, so all you have to do is quickly press the little settings icon and change the language to English. Nice and easy. Next, you're going to want to download the custom ROM of your choosing. For me, I'm installing the Xiaomi.eu MIUI 10 beta because I'm really impatient. Um, I will put links down for, for the official Xiaomi global ROM. So then you just want to copy and paste that to your TWR folder on your phone. Next, let's basically install it. Go to install, find that file on your phone and then install it and don't fail like three times like I did. Now this is just going to run through. It's going to take about three to five minutes to work everything out. I fast forward it here so we don't have to awkwardly watch and wait. Cool, now we're going to want to wipe the cache. And before we reboot it, we want to go back and we also want to wipe basically all the other settings just to make sure that nothing kind of gets in the way. Now that's done, it's ready to reboot. Now, considering this is the first time it's been booted up, this will take about four to five minutes, so don't be scared if it does take a while, just leave it. But if it does last like longer than like 10 minutes, maybe try turning the phone off and back on again. And boom, there we go. MIUI 10 installed nice and easy. So that was my quick little guide on how to install a custom ROM on your Mi 8. Hopefully everything went okay and it worked out for you. If it didn't, please again let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to help. Um, please check out my other videos. I've got a review out on the Mi 8. And that's about it. Please subscribe if you liked the video. Please like it if you liked it. And that's about it. Bye.